Hello everybody, in this video we will go through on how to create the Android Holo Spinner. This tutorial was requested by Blue on my previous material loading spinner video. If you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely go check it out. First off, I'm going to create a new composition, set the width and height to 1000, and set the frame rate to 30 frames per second, and go ahead and press OK. I'm just going to enable the title save and create a new ellipse by double clicking the ellipse tool and then just reduce the size just a little bit to fit inside our composition and add a gradient stroke we will adjust that in a little bit okay now we're just going to adjust our start and end point of our gradient stroke which is going to be animated I just rotate this by 180 degrees, just flip it vertically. I'm going to add a trim pass and by alt click on the start I'm going to write a very simple expression. I'll just type down 100 minus equity and property. So now you can see by changing the end property value, the start will, will change accordingly. And just add a keyframe. Now to the gradient stroke, I'm just going to add a keyframe for the start and end. And at exactly one second, I'm going to add a second keyframe. Set the end of our trend pass to 50%. And pull up our gradient stroke uh, to move with the, with the trend pass effect. So you can see as the circle is closing, it's getting brighter. We, we want to achieve that effect. Okay, great. Just going to easy ease all the keyframes by selecting them and clicking F9. And by going into the graph editor, I'm just going to adjust it just a little bit. So it's not very slow at the, at the beginning because this is going to loop. And it's, it doesn't look very nice when it loops. And at the start and end point, it, it's, when it's too slow, it doesn't look really good. So I'm just going to speed it up just a little bit using the speed graph trying to match the speed at the start and the end as much as I can ok this part is done by ctrl D I'll just duplicate our layer and just change the rotation to 0 degrees and move our keyframes to the end of our top layer keyframe as you can see uh, I just duplicate another layer and the layer on the bottom, I'll just remove the keyframes from it. And this is going to be our loop. Of course, it's not correct right now. Uh, I think because the bottom layer is uh, is not rotated like the top layer. So I'm just going to rotate it by 180 degrees. Now it matches the top layer and it's looping correctly. I'm just going to trim the layers first before pre-combing. So I'm just trimming them by using ALT and uh, closing bracket. Then just Control shift c to pre-comb it. I'm going to add a time remap. And just before the end, I'm going to set a keyframe there and just delete uh, uh, the last keyframe. And I'll just ALT click on the stopwatch there to add a loop out expression. Now it's going to loop and it's gonna be a perfect loop as you can see but if you look closer at, at the edges uh, they don't look correctly because it's a problem with anti-aliasing I guess but it can be fixed easily but you're just applying a, a simple choker to the layer and just uh, add a, a small value of about 1, 1.3 pixels on the choker uh, now the problem is solved one last thing is I just add a rotation expression so it moves with the time so if I just hold click the stopwatch on the rotation type time times 50 this means that every second it will add 50, 50 degrees on the rotation value so as you can see on one second it's exactly 50 degrees and that's it this is the Hulu spinner or the KitKat spinner very easy just going to adjust the start and end point of our gradient stroke here because 
I noticed it was very fast and this is it this is the holo android spinner so if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching